Hello. Today we're going to draw our back panel of our ladder using Fusion 360. Select the timber ladder. Select the step drawing, step ladder drawing. And you can see it there. We're going to draw the right hand side here. So there's four rectangles and we need two rope holes. So let's start drawing. I'm going to Fusion, select my Fusion program, and that's what we're going to draw today. So let's start with a new drawing. It's got Create a Sketch, and I want a vertical plane. So I'm clicking on that there, and I'm going to draw four rectangles. The first one, origin point, coming vertically, and it's 585, whoops, I'll just go back for a second, tab, 585, tab 70, enter. So let's just bring this in the centre of our drawing, that's looking good, a bit bigger, half a rectangle, drag it out, and I'm going to go 70, tab 270, 270, enter. Do that again, rectangle. We're going um, 270, tab 70, enter. Last one. And now there it is there, so we're going to go 70, tab 585, enter. So before we go any further, I'm just going to go D for distance, a dimension. We're going to select on that horizontal line and that horizontal line there and moving it out to the right. And it's saying, what distance do you want? So from the plan, it says 320. Enter. So that's excellent. So we're going to zoom in here and we're going to draw some rope hole lines. So we're going to go L for line. I'm going to draw some lines across, lines across, the same on the other side. Now you don't have to do these lines, um, but I just find it easier. C for circle, find the center point, click and drag out, type in 12, enter, come to the other side, C for circle, Click on it, go 12, enter. Now we're going to zoom in nice and tight and go T for trim. Now you're going to have to go back and do these drawings at a slow pace and get rid of all these ones we don't want. There you go, that's all. That's all the lines we don't want. I'm going to do the same here. Zoom in. Zoom out again. So there we go. We've got our our back panels looking looking good. So let's go um, E for extrude, E for extrude, and we're going to select our four rectangles. It says how far do you want to extrude? The thickness of the timber is twenty millimeters. So I've extruded. Select the little home button, there you go, it's extruded, I've got my rope holes, so it's starting to look good. I'm going to come to my right hand side, and I'm going to scroll right in, I'm going to just lift this up a little bit, scroll right in and go L for line, saying what plane, find that, find that end point there, and just, just drawing a line, nice simple line, D for dimension, and because it's a stepladder, this isn't going to be a straight cut. It's going to be a, a saw cut at 20 degrees. So we need to draw our uh, saw it at 20 degrees. We're just going to extrude this now. It says, what do you want to extrude? That's what I want to extrude. And then what I'll do, I'll just grab that arrow and I'll just pull it all the way through and go OK. So therefore, it's formed a 20 degree cut so I'm going to come to the front now 
and I'm going to select F for fillet. It's saying, what do you want to fillet? And I want all these vertical lines. I don't want, I only want the vertical. And it's a really interesting step of what we're going to fillet and what we're not. It's saying, what measurement do you want? Five millimeters. And we're going to go, okay. That's looking good. Let's turn it around. Let's do that step again. F for fillet. Select on our verticals. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're just doing the, oops, these horizontals. And selecting five. That's looking really good. And enter. So all of a sudden, we've got this really good looking back panel. Last thing I want to do is just zoom in here. I want to go sketch, I want to go text, I just want to click on on here. So it's saying what do you want to write? I want to write our name. I would like you to laser cut this into your project and um, so there it is there. Let's grab that bottom right hand corner, nice and big, that's really good. Just moving it, sort of centering it, happy with that. Enter there, let's just, let's just grab that, uh, let's just, get, just grab that there, extrude. Oh, and just type in five. So there you go. So we've uh, drawn our four rectangles, we've filleted the edges, we've drawn our holes, we've uh, written our name on it, and also we have put the 20 degree the cut on the bottom. Thank you for watching.